whole goes together in four sections. So this middle section is one you want to get first and bolt that to the front section using four M3 bolts. Next you want to bolt on this, this section using again four M3 bolts. And finally the rear section using another four M3 bolts. This rear exhaust shroud is glued on. I use hot glue, uh, but you could use anything like uh, super glue. And then you have parts such as this exhaust, which are just um, decorative, and they bolt on by M2 bolts. You also have this rear engine cover, which um, does have a, a um, sort of like a fa um, vent in it, but unfortunately, when I printed it, it didn't really come out my way, so I just removed it. And that just bolts on using two M3 bolts through the holes and a little mount in there. On the back, there's just a little lip. Most of the rest of the hull is all decorative. Um, you might want to clean up, make sure you clean up the uh, turret um, ring there. And then in the front of the hull, we have the four uh, mountings for each transmission. So the front of the hull and the up front plate. Um, so this is the front of the hull. These mount on with the transmissions and hold in the transmission assembly. Help hold in the transmission assembly. So that is the hull and that's very simple to assemble. So now I'm going to do show you how the, the suspension and stuff is assembled.
So some things like these, these are bits of felt which I mounted on here and what they do is, is that they stop um, sand building up um, under here which stops it from getting clogged. So they, you can add them but obviously they don't look particularly great. One of the big, oops, one of the big things um, is not on that side, um, is on this side where you might be able to just see if I get it in focus. There's this little plate here, and there's a similar one here. What they do is, is that, unfortunately, the track can sometimes get caught. So one of these track holder alignment pins will get caught between the return roller and the, and it can just get jammed. So I added them in, and it stops it getting jammed. So, let's see, shaky. Um, you can adjust the idler wheel slight, sorry, the um, track tensioning wheel slightly. Um, so I would want to get it in the right place. I definitely glue it because otherwise it tends to move around a bit. Um, you you can screw this part on, but you, it's actually most times not much point doing it because it's it's quite tight fitting anyway. You'll probably actually have to actually sand it down a tiny bit on when you actually printed it, um, just to stop it from um, so you can actually get it on. The heat sinks that you saw in the video, I made them out of I think three millimeter aluminium. The exact depth doesn't really matter um, because of um, how the, the gear is bigger than the actual um, other gear. Um, but this is a big, you have to have this. And then you will see these Meccano, these are Meccano plates. And um, if I turn the brightness up, these Meccano plates, and um, they spread out the load and the heat so the bolts don't heat up the plastic and melt into it. Um, there will be an improved transmission at some point which will have bearings in it because at the moment this runs on plastic which I'm changing at the moment but I still haven't finished designing that. On this component, on the turret ring, there is a gear which you just bolt on with 4M2 bolts but there is no actual servo mount. There's a gear for a servo, but there isn't actually the servo mount. So you'll have to make that. Um, I, I made on mine a plate which came out from here, which had the servo on it, which then meshes with the gear to do the rotation. But in the end, I removed it because you never, I never really used the tight rotation mechanism, and it just made it harder to actually get to everything inside the tank. So you can definitely add it, and you can also add a, a turret, a, the elevation will get work as well. Just remember to hot glue this in, and the elevation will work as well. These you can use, and there is a hinge for these doors, but I never actually printed it for mine, and I just covered this up with some um, like um, fabricy stuff to stop from sand and stuff going on the beach. If you do use it on the beach, like in sand, you have to be careful that sand tends to build up in in here and similar on the back and if that happens you can see these wheels have like flat spots on them and basically jams these wheels and then the plastic running over the tracks just melts them. The tracks are held together with I think they're one millimeter pins so you just have to cut them down to the right length push them in and assemble. I think it's 72 links per side um, I have but obviously you might need one more one less so I just keep adding them on till it's the right length. Um, inside the hole, if you're going to use some water, I'd recommend doing this, is gluing um, the seams. Because it is actually surprisingly waterproof. Um, my, the, the main, actually, most water ends up getting flicked over the back and in through here. So you could always design yourself some little um, like uh, rear fendery things. But yeah, that's basically... Um, everything I wanted to add